Hey everybody, I'm Shane Mason, and this is Mason Boys Outdoors, and today you're going to love this video. If you like fishing, if you like fishing the south with Josh Harmon, if you like Silas, if you like cooking with an air fryer, or flounder, or puppy reds, whatever, fishing out of a boat, you're going to love this video. So let's get to it. Uh, we're not going to come get you till you catch a fish, sir. Si. You better hurry up and catch a fish. Oh. I see you too. <laughs> okay, so let's try to game plan something since we just literally tried. I mean, you can go further back in there, it just gets real shallow. Yeah. Not shallow, narrow. There's yeah. Big drop offs and everything, but. And I'd go for a big black drum right now. You want to go to the harbor, see if we can't pull out a black drum? Or wh which harbor? Like right there where the boat landing's at. We can go over there. Where you want to go, Si? Why are you cursed on? Why are you cursed on? Uh, wrong answer. I made my little place to stay right here. I see that. You did a good job. Jump on this boat. Okay. I can jump. One, two, three. Hey, right, pump that bulb up. Let's see what we got. It's pretty deep here. Yeah, it's kind of deep here. Look on the screen, see how deep it is. 23. 23. Seven feet. Seven. It's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. <laughs> he's he's also a habitual liar. Oh, okay. Dad, I want to go in those woods. You want to go in those woods? Can we? I'm not. Can I? Look, it's all muddy. Oh, that's a, that's a tree pounder. That's not even a tree. That's like a. Bag. <laughs> That's a bag flounder. We got you, sir. Got you. Bag flounder. Flounder. Oh, nice flounder. Got a flounder. Oh, God. Dip it. Dip it. Dip <laughs> it. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen a real flounder. Yes, you have. <laughs> Did you catch them on that gulp? Yeah. Nice. Caught them on the gulp. Okay, I'm switching to the gulp. <laughs> Our first fish of the day good flounder i'm surprised to catch one this time of year but um they're in here i've seen it done i just never done it <laughs> there you go. but me and josh and silas have been back here just pounding this bayou away looking for some redfish looking for anything yeah. and um this is our first one i think the tide just started coming in and that that may turn on the bite <laughs> Uh, hold on. Let's... Oh, yeah, that's a keeper. What's that? 15 inches? Yeah. It's a hat. Huh? Uh, no. Yeah, I'm not giving you trouble hooks. <laughs> We're here about to try yet another location and go see what we can get over here. We've got one flounder for all of our hard work today. Hopefully we pull a few more out of this last hole. Yeah. Then we're gonna go home and watch the Saints game. No, we're gonna stay here till midnight. Till midnight? Silas Wood, man, I tell you, that kid fish all day. Got one? Nope, nope, just kidding, Gus. Could it be a fish? It could have been a fish. It could have been an oyster. Silas, if you call him Jimmy Josh one more time, you're not going fishing for a week. Josh, did you know I just cast it over your head? <laughs> How safe does that make you feel, Josh? I don't know. <laughs> not even a little bit. That window's busted in that mansion. Oh! Don't let 
Yep. Got him. Got him. Oh, the whole time. Uh, Come on. Oh, get him, sir. Huh? It's bigger than yours. Whoa! Oh, you just crushed the can. All right. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we need a bigger boat. See it right in the boat? Uh, here's a little bit out there, probably where we're sitting right now. Uh, okay. <sighs> oh, oh, oh. There's three dots. Hold on, Si. I want to measure them. You want to measure them? Well, hold them up for the camera. Yeah. Did you catch that fish, Si? No. No? Who caught that fish? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't caught anything. Oh well, I guess I'm beating you today. Yeah. You little sucker. I'm about to throw this one back. We'll throw him back, I dare you. <laughs> I'm about to. I don't think you will. He's too little anyways, oh, gotta throw him back. Oh, Silas. Sorry. Silas, oh my god. Oh, you That just cost you five subscribers, Silas. <laughs> You gotta be nice to him. Silas, it's been a while since you caught a redfish. I know, that's why. I, that's why I'm trying to see the basic. That red, I'll just pull redfish here. I don't know. Come what? on, Josh. Josh, you're gone. Oh, Silas just threw over me. <laughs> what we got? I'm not gonna knock it off. I'm not gonna knock it off. Silas. I, I net tanks all the time. That's a redfish, red! That's a red! That a red! Dude. You get to keep the one you get. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Awesome, <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it took so long to get this little fish. <laughs> right, yes. You got a flounder. Uh, I got you, uh, oh, there, we go. there we go. Yes. yes. Silas. Good job on the net job. <laughs> all right we're gonna let this little dude go all right hopefully we can find some more of them dude i don't i don't know how long my my camera's been recording yeah but when you said you had one i cut it off <laughs> so this has probably been recorded for a while silas you gotta slow your reel or you're not gonna catch anything you're reeling too fast you gotta keep it on the bottom. Okay. Cause when it's really cold, they want it on the bottom. Just made it in. We got three fish for the evening and we got one good flounder. I think me and Silas about to bring it to the house and gonna cook it up some way. I'm gonna go watch the game and go, I don't know. I might go fish somewhere. I don't know. You still going fishing? It's cold, man. It's way too cold. I got some cold gear at the house. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it was a great day. We tried it out here in Simmons Bayou. Nothing really biting in there. The water level is just so low. Um, the redfish were probably back in some shallow water, you know, trying to get some sun. So, but we ended up going out there. What, Shane caught that flounder. And then we caught further down to the mouth, Simmons Bayou, we got two of those rat reds. Just the sun starts going down, get a little too cold out here to even try further. That's probably where they're at. Yeah. But it was a great day, all in all. Yep. So, so we're about to head to the house. See y'all there. See and y'all be sure and subscribe to Fishing to the South. Fishing to the South. Fishing the South. <laughs> if you hadn't already. So, we'll see you at the house. Welcome to La Casa del Maison. And we're about to clean this flounder real quick. I love flounder. First one I ever caught in the wintertime. Kind of excited about it. 15 inch flounder. Um, and we're about to cook it in the air fryer. A flounder is an awesome fish to keep. They're delicious and they have a whole lot of meat on them. The way I clean them, I will scale them. I'll scale the whole fish, top and bottom. And then I'll take my knife and I'll split it from the head down to the tail. You can see a center line going right through the middle. And then I'll fillet them off of the ribs. So you get four good sized fillets, two on the top and two on the bottom. 
Now I got the flounder scale, and now I'm just gonna cut it right down the center line from the head down to the tail. And then I'm gonna go all the way to the backbone and I'm gonna turn my knife 90 degrees and go down the ribs. The dogs are standing around like they're gonna get something. What y'all gonna get? Y'all gonna get fed? Y'all ain't gonna get this fillet. That's one fillet, gonna have three more just like that. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom side. So, see you guys in the kitchen. We're in the kitchen <laughs> and we're gonna cook this flounder in the air fryer. <laughs> I found the recipe for baked flounder and Chastity said we could do it in the air fryer. So we're gonna, and I'm gonna follow her instructions and I bet it's gonna be awesome. All right guys, we're gonna take these fillets and we're gonna lay them on the air fryer tray. We're gonna preheat the air fryer to 425, but I'm gonna hold off on that because this dude is loud. Fixing up all the seasoning and everything for this flounder, I can't stop eating these jalapeno poppers. Jalapeno and deer steak wrapped in bacon and cream cheese. It's pretty awesome. So we just put a quarter of a cup of panko breadcrumbs on there, and now we're gonna put a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. So we got twice as much Parmesan cheese as breadcrumbs. And all we're putting on here is a little black pepper and some salt and some lemon juice. Nope, shine the fish so. And so we're just gonna put a little bit of lemon juice on it. Just not a whole lot, just a little bit. A few drips down, a few drips down each side. I just put the garlic in this breadcrumb mixture and just trying to spread it around best I can. Now we're just gonna take these fillets, put them right here in this breadcrumbs. And get it all crummy. Got the breadcrumbs and the Parmesan. I only used half of the garlic that, it's, that it calls for. I hope that's okay. We'll find out. We got the breadcrumbs on the filet now. Rolled it over. Now we're gonna move it on the tray. I'm gonna put it in the air fryer. We're gonna check on these fish in the air fryer. They look pretty golden brown. I'd rather have them a little underdone than overdone, so I'm gonna pull them out and try them. Yeah, the top ones look a lot more done than the bottom ones. I think I'm gonna try the top ones and then put the bottom ones back in there a little while. There it is, guys. Looks awesome. All my help has done going to bed, so so I'm gonna try to film this on my own. We're just gonna try this real quick. Maybe a little burnt. I'm not sure. I have no idea. First time I ever used the air fryer. Here we go. Maybe a little too hot. Mm. Like it's delicious, but it, it may be a little dry. Like it's really good. Like the, you can really taste the cheese and, and the breading makes it crunchy. But it's really good. It's kind of dry though. I may have cooked it a little too long. Let me try one of these other bites that didn't cook quite quite so long. Mm. That's better. That's an amazing, amazing taste. Yeah, don't overcook it. The recipe called for baked flounder, but we cooked it in the air fryer. Baked it in the air fryer, but we only baked it for like 12 minutes. And by like eight minutes, the top rack was already burning, like overdone. And then I moved the bottom rack to the top rack and cooked it for three or four more minutes. And it's the better pieces. And so, I don't know if 
Got to keep an eye on it. I really don't know what to tell you about it, but it made good. It made good food. You just got to keep an eye on it, I guess. If you hadn't already, subscribe to Mason Boys Outdoors. Also, go to Fish in the South. Subscribe to those guys, Josh Harmon and his buddies. But as always, I hope you catch a mess and leave the rest. God bless you. We'll see you on the next video.